Hey guys, what's up? Walt Foot, Jason Footprints. Hey, uh, in this video, my son, he does European mounts and he is all self-taught. Um, and he does a really good job. He's just started doing them um, for us one day and he's getting better and better and he's now he's a professional at it. So he made a video all by himself about how to do a European mount. And um, as you can tell, there are some of the ones he's done, he just probably got through with this one. Um, that's his cousin's, Emerson's mount, or his, you know, the mule deer he just got. This is my velvet buck that I got this year as well that he did, and he put an antique on this one, um, which is, which turned out pretty, pretty dang cool, if you ask me. So that's what that one looks like. And he's done quite a few other ones that we have hanging around in the house. So, I hope you guys enjoy his video and, uh, you know, give him some love, comment if you can, and thanks, thanks for all of your guys' support that are subscribers and um, do comment and like, so we appreciate that. And um, we'll be talking to you on the next hunting video. We appreciate all your support. Thank you. So this is Emerson's deer. This is what it looks like after it got European mount. Viewer discretion is advised. If you guys don't like me and brains and stuff, then this video is not for you. So let's see the end product. I think it looks pretty good. This is cool from Chasing Footprints, and today I'm going to show you guys how to yarm out a deer. And so stay tuned for the process. So first up, you're going to want to have a sharp knife. So what I like to do is start in the nose and make a decision. Like that, and then kind of work my way up. Now that you got as much hair off as you can, try to get as much meat off as you can because it will make it easier in the uh, pressure washing stage. There's the jaw. My tongue and the esophagus, you can just take them together and just. So now this guy's ready to go on the boiling process. So that's gonna be the next step. Now we're in the boiling stage. Once you got off all the hair, you want to get a pot that is deep enough to smurge your head. 
and uh, start it up and put the head in. Once the head is in, you want it to get to a boiling boil for about 40 minutes. You can tell when it's done because the skin and meat on the bone will start to come off. It'll start cooked and split and take it out. Now that it's at a boiling boil, um, I'll show you guys it in 40 minutes and see if it's done. So I just it's just been boiling for about 30 or 40 minutes now, so I shut off the heat. And you see how the meat's all trying to come like come off the bone and cook. So that means I'm gonna start pressure washing it now. So I'm gonna go ahead and start pressure washing now. I just have a little 1600 psi electric pressure washer. Pretty much any pressure washer will work. So what I like to do is just hold it between my feet and. Start it. you take out the nasal cavity so you get some um, needle nose pliers can I stick it in here twist and pull get all that junk out of that Okay, so to get these earbuds out, you get a little screwdriver, stick it in the ear hole, and break it out. And there, that's how you do it. Same with the other side. I already kind of did that one. Okay, now after I got all pressure washed all the meat off, I did 50% water, 50% hydrogen peroxide. I'm gonna bring it to a boil, and after that, I'm gonna take it out and pressure wash it one more time, and then it'll be done. Now that it's in a boil, now we're gonna let it boil for about 10 minutes and pull it out. So I just pulled it out, and it's looking pretty white, so I'm gonna go ahead and pre start pressure washing it. And I put some saran wrap and electrical tape around the horn so they don't get bleached too. So now that we got it all bleached out, I'm gonna put a clear coat on it. It's a semi-gloss. So to give it a little bit of shine and seal it up.
is the end product. I think it turned out pretty good. Comment down below what you guys think of it.